Hi, I'm Robert Reinhardt, a streaming media producer here for AJA Video Systems. In this sponsored tutorial, I'll show you my favorite features of the new Hilo Plus, an H.264 streamer and recorder now available for purchase. It's an upgrade from the original Hilo, which I use extensively for live video production. Let's take a look. Before I review the web configuration pages for the new Hilo Plus, Take a look at the new chassis design. I'll go from left to right, starting on the front panel. The record button can start or stop recording to one or two destinations, from network shares to locally connected USB or SD card storage devices. I haven't configured recording destinations and as such, the indicator is amber. The stream button starts and stops output to one or two streaming destinations. A steady green light indicates that the streaming destination is ready, a blinking green light indicates that streaming is active. The new audio level indicators display the live VU of the active audio signal. I have the SDI inputs first and second channels active, showing my live microphone output. On the back side of the unit, from left to right, there are analog audio in and out ports, an SDI in and out pair, an HDMI in and out pair, as well as the USB config network and power ports. Before we can configure the Hilo Plus, we need to download the USB configuration software. Head to aja.com support, and on this page, go over to the streaming section, choose the Hilo Plus, and you'll be redirected to the Hilo Plus software. Under the software category, you can choose Mac, Windows, or Linux. Since I'm on a Windows machine, I'm gonna choose Windows. Here I can download the latest firmware, which right now is version 2.0.1, which has new enhancements that weren't available with the shipping release of the Hilo Plus, as well as the E-mini setup version 2.3 for Windows. I'm gonna go ahead and download that right now. After it's done downloading, go ahead and run the installer. The AJA E-mini setup software is identical on both Mac and Windows. After you have connected the supplied USB cable from the USB config port on the Hilo Plus to the USB port on your computer, you will see the information that's shown here. There's three tabs in the eMini setup software, a network tab, an update tab, and an information tab. In the network tab, we can see the IP address that's assigned to the Hilo. By default, the Hilo Plus has DHCP enabled, which automatically grabs an IP address from the network. If you don't have a DHCP server on the network, you may need to manually configure an IP address. The Update tab lets you install new firmware to the Hilo Plus. Right now, I'm running 2.0.1.1-4R. You can also set a system name for your Hilo in the Info tab. You can open the web UI directly from the network tab. Let's switch back over to that and click the open web page button. When you load the web configuration page for the Hilo Plus, you'll immediately be shown the status of inputs, encoders, recorders, scheduling, and more. Here, I'm looking at the input status for the SDI HDMI signals. Both are 1080p 2997, and my encoder is set to use the same. There are two encoders for the Hilo Plus. Let's look at encoder one. Encoder one shows a template selector. I'm going to go ahead and choose 1080p mid 10 megabits per second and choose apply. Click OK. I'm using full frame rate. 1080p, 10 megabits per second, with an iframe every two seconds. If you need to adjust any of these settings, feel free to adjust them at this time before you start to stream. The second encoder is going to use the same settings. You can use the second encoder to have a higher bit rate for recording destinations that are local or on your network. For this example, I'm gonna choose the exact same template and choose apply. After you've configured your encoders, you're ready to set up outputs for your streams. I'm gonna to head to the stream one output area. I'm going to make sure it's enabled, that it's using the first encoder, that it's using the first audio pair, and I'm gonna set the stream type to RTMP. 
RTMP is what's used for many social media destinations, including YouTube. You can see I've already specified my YouTube channel here, along with my stream key, which is hidden for purposes of this tutorial. Once I'm ready to stream, I can go ahead and click the stream button here at the top of the nav, or push the stream button on the front of the Hilo unit. Now that my stream is active, I'm going to switch to my YouTube creator channel. And I can see that I have a live stream in progress. My stream health is excellent, so I'm good to go. I'm going to head back to the configuration page here and turn off streaming and configure the stream to output. As I mentioned earlier, we can be streaming to two destinations at the same time from the Hilo Plus. This will utilize more bandwidth on your local network, but it's a nice feature to have when you're on location. I've set Stream 2 to be enabled. I've set the encoder to use the second encoder configuration, and I am using the same audio pair that I used in the last test. This time, however, I'm going to choose SRT as the stream type. SRT, which stands for Secure Reliable Transport, is brand new to the Hilo Plus. SRT is the next generation live streaming protocol, and we can see that I've already specified a server here that can accept SRT input. I don't have this destination set up for any security on the server side. I'm going to go ahead and start streaming. And if I go back to the status page and scroll down, I can see that both encoders are active and that streaming output is now active to both my YouTube destination that I showed earlier, as well as my custom SRT ingest. SRT streams specifically over a custom port. In this example, my provider is using port 9999. With this particular SRT server, I can view the output over HLS. I'm going to go ahead and go to VLC Media Player right now and use the HLS output stream from that server to preview my live stream. And there it is. This is a time delayed HLS playback of the live stream. It's about 30 seconds delayed and the audio level is showing my audio levels from earlier in this example. You can see that the Hilo is actively streaming in this live stream as well. Now we're going to take a look at the new layout feature of the Hilo Plus. Earlier in this tutorial, I mentioned that you can have both HDMI and SDI signals active at the same time. In order to composite both of these HDMI and SDI layers, we have to change the config. I'm going to go to the config area right now and choose layout from the video source. I'm going to leave my audio paired to the SDI 1 and 2 channels. And now I can head over to the layouts area under pre-show in the navigation on the left. Here I can start to configure how SDI and HDMI layers work with each other. If I was going to use this in a presentation, I may want to have the screen share overlaid with a picture-in-picture -picture of the speaker. In order to do that, I'm going to scroll down and choose the SDI layer and shrink it down. In order to show this picture-in-picture -picture effect, I'm going to shrink the SDI signal, which is the picture of the Hilo itself, on top of the screen share of this Hilo configuration page. I'm going to go ahead and move the scale down of the SDI signal and you'll see that I get a real-time update here in the preview area. And I can move it left and right by using the left and right positions of the SDI signal. I can also move the overlay up and down with the Y position slider. So now I have an active overlay that shows a picture in picture on the SDI signal with the HDMI capture of my laptop that I'm using for this tutorial. 
What's amazing about this new layout feature is that you can use the Hilo in lieu of a live video switcher. You can now take the SDI signal and overlay it on top of an HDMI signal. For example, if I was doing a webinar and I wanted to show my face on top of a screen share, I now could just use the Hilo to use the SDI channel for my camera and the HDMI input for my laptop capture. You can also use the Layout Images page to specify a watermark or bug to float over your image. We won't show that in this tutorial, but it's an exciting feature that I'm looking forward to using. You can also use the shop box below the pre-show to recall previous layouts that you've set up. This has been an overview of my favorite features of the new Hilo Plus. There are two additional software options available for purchase, the Play 2 Stream option and the 4 Channel Audio option. Some producers may find these new add-ons useful. Thanks for watching.